people and machines. The line between them is gradually getting blurry. And today, we're gonna talk about the man who, among other things, is airbrushing this line like no other. Elon Musk, founder and head of such companies as SpaceX, Tesla, and Neuralink, has been inspiring the world with his ambitious projects for many years. How does he see technology evolving and why does his vision of strong AI differ from conventional wisdom? What is Musk really going for with artificial intelligence and brain implants? What makes his problem-solving skills so unique and still work? Strap in, we are about to get to the bottom of this right now. Star Trek Fleet Command. If you're a space enthusiast or a Star Trek fan and haven't tried Star Trek Fleet Command yet, now's the perfect chance. Step into the role of a Starship Commander, engage in epic battles with players worldwide, master strategy and tactics from alliances, and upgrade your fleet in this thrilling game inspired by the iconic Star Trek series. The battle system operates in real time, letting you attack or be attacked by NPCs or other player ships. With an open world and stunning graphics, you'll be fully immersed in a virtual galaxy free to explore. The game is free and every month new characters, ships, events and other content are being added to the game. You can fully enjoy this 4X MMQ strategy game in a fantastic setting. Here you can crew iconic ships with some of the most legendary characters from over 50 years of Star Trek history and command a starbase on the edge of civilized space. Star Trek Fleet Command is available on both desktop and mobile with a Scopely account. You can easily start playing at home and continue on the road. Follow the link in the description, enter the promo code BOOST and receive a beginner station upgrade content packed with 300 Latinum, 100k Parsteel, 10k Tritanium and more. An exciting journey awaits. Join us. Creating a humanoid robot has been considered an incredibly difficult task for decades, but that hasn't stopped Musk. The fact is that Elon has his own approach to solving any task, and it consists of three stages. Number one, a review of requirements for the task. Musk dismantles them down to the iota to make sure that each one is absolutely necessary. Quote, requirements are always silly to some degree, end quote. The second step is to try to remove every element of the project that is non-essential. Musk believes that if removing an element does not cause critical damage and problems, it was unnecessary to begin with. This radical approach often leads to innovation as the team is forced to find new and more efficient ways to accomplish their goals. And towards the end, Elon moves on to optimizing the remaining processes, both production and management. At the same time, Musk is sure that any process or product can be refined and improved at any stage, because there's no limit to perfection. For example, right now, Tesla is working on Optimus Gen 3, which is designed to work first and foremost at the Tesla plant. According to Musk, about half of all developments in Optimus are related to hands. The entrepreneur admitted that initially the team tried to create very simple but fully functional limbs that could do everything ours can the result was giant arms that looked plain weird. After that, the engineers took a different path. They tried to replicate all the ingenious solutions incorporated in humans by nature. Simple. When you run out of ideas, just look out the window. Elon emphasizes that everything is important here, down to the different lengths of fingers. It's these proportions that give the best results in tasks for fine motor skills. As a result, the new arm has 22 degrees of freedom instead of 11, and its actuators are now built inside the forearm. Quote, all actuators are designed from scratch based on basic principles of physics. All the sensors are designed from scratch as well, and we will continue to put a huge engineering effort into improving the arm. It's very challenging, end quote. We talked at length about how Tesla designed their robot in our previous video, found in the description. I'll reiterate one little detail here though. Optimus uses its end-to-end -end neural network to autonomously perform various tasks. In doing so, the robot demonstrates high accuracy and is even able to detect and correct its own errors. In the process, the neural network uses footage from 2D cameras and the robot's onboard sensors. 
With an announced price of about $25,000, the robot will feature a sturdy but lightweight structure, an informative display for communication, ability to autonomously perform at least some tasks, and most importantly, the ability to learn new actions as well as self-learn. The technology is already in use by the company, which said that at least two robots are already working autonomously in their factory. So far, the robot's being trained simultaneously in simulation on collected data and through virtual reality plus movement demonstrations. Musk admits it's actually humbling how little data humans have been able to collect to train robots. He says if you discard all the spam and repetition, they run out of it pretty quickly. So by releasing the robot into the world, into the wild, the entrepreneur plans to not only improve the robot itself, but also collect a lot of quality data to train both robots and the AI running it, which is also being developed by Musk's XAI. One of Elon's most exciting yet controversial projects is Neuralink. This company is working on a high-performance brain-machine interface that promises to revolutionize the treatment of neurological diseases and deliver new horizons in the field of human cognitive enhancement. Quote, if we can effectively connect the brain to the computer, it will allow people to stay competitive in a world where AI will be playing an increasing role every day. End quote. To date, Neuralink has implanted chips in two volunteers. The company plans to perform eight more surgeries before the end of this year. The second surgery was more successful than the first one. Out of 1,024 electrodes, 400 have taken root and are transmitting quality signals. Compare that to the first one, a month after which 85% of the chip's functionality was lost due to electrode displacement. But Musk wouldn't be Musk if his team didn't manage to reconfigure algorithms of the system in such a way that even with the remaining functioning electrodes, volunteer Nolan Arbaugh broke all records for data transfer speeds between his brain and the machine, reaching 8 bits per second. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are some rookie numbers. Elon says that in the coming years, the number of working electrodes will be much larger and the data transfer rate could reach hundreds or even thousands of bits per second. And if Nolan can get a headshot every time he plays for counter-terrorists with 8 bits, just imagine. Speeds like that will dramatically change the way a person thinks and communicates with a computer or, for example, another person with a chip in their brain. A normal conversation for people with a Neuralink implant will sound And at the same time, it will allow the person to achieve and transmit information at a speed close to that of a neural network. So, Neuralink's long-term goal is to establish synergy between AI and humans by increasing communication bandwidth. Since right now, according to Musk, talking to us is the same as talking to a tree if you're an AI. <laughs> Dude, come on, really? Like, obviously, as per, you know, CIA, remote viewing, clairvoyance, telepathy, takes a while to study. You know, it's a skill. Uh, there's a tipping point, Gladwell, 10,000 hours, right? But we ain't got time for that. You know, we ain't got time to use our abundant resources to collectively educate the population of the world about the oneness of consciousness and meditation practices like Vipassana and others to kickstart spiritual revolution globally that'll put us beyond any level we can possibly imagine right now. Nah, we're just gonna stick a thing in your head and let the chips fall where they may. Quote, what makes us human? Not the preservation of our biological state, but our ability to progress our desire to knowledge, end quote. Increasing the speed of data transfer between man and machine will allow us to keep pace with artificial intelligence, opening up new horizons of possibilities. When we increase the speed of our interactions to AI levels, our existence will change unpredictably. We will be able to modify and enhance our memories, our perceptions, and even our physical capabilities. Is immortality possible in the form of preserving and carrying human essence through the ages. Well, you know what they say, anything is possible if you can imagine it. Elon believes we are on the cusp of the next big step in human evolution. Huh? 
In the meantime, Neuralink's immediate goals are to release the BlindSight chip, which as stated in the name, can give sight to blind people. According to Musk, restoring vision will be low resolution at first, as we need to figure out how many electrodes are needed to do it. But then Elon hopes the capabilities of people with blind sight will become even superior to those with 2020. Describing the potential of this technology, the entrepreneur says that right now, humanity only has the alphabet at our disposal. There's a long way to go before we can create Lord of the Rings. But if all goes well and we can develop our cognitive abilities through brain implants, Will that be enough for advanced artificial intelligence to consider humans a force to be reckoned with? That's the question. And Musk has an answer. He's sure that people can become a source of will and purpose for the superintelligent AI. But what is the purpose for Elon himself? He admits it's to understand the nature of the universe. And that is what he considers the mission of his company XAI and the Grok Neural Network to be. Elon's motto in any business, play to win or don't play at all. That's why having entered the AI race, he has no intention of giving up. He's not embarrassed by Grok's criticism. He attracts investment into the project and himself invests huge sums of money to, for example, launch the most powerful AI training cluster in the world today, the Memphis Supercluster. It's equipped with 100,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. It's where Musk is going to train Grok 3, which should make this AI model really competitive with respect to OpenAI developments. By the way, Musk is going to present the third generation of his AI by the end of this year. Ha! In the words of Crystal Method, doo -doo 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 there is hope. However, just computing power is not enough to create a strong AI. According to Musk, the speed of computing is the horsepower of a car, but it also needs the talent of the driver to win the race. Quote, how effectively are you using these training calculations and how effectively are you drawing conclusions using AI? So obviously, it comes down to human talent. And then, how much unique access to data do you have? That also plays a role. End quote. He doesn't hide the fact that Grok is going to use data from his social network X, and according to him, you shouldn't think he's the only one doing it. Most AI companies have already extracted what they can from there. The advantage of XAI is that it has access not only to open databases, but also to those collected by Tesla cars, for example, and in the future, to those collected in the real world by Optimus robots. As for the creation of general artificial intelligence, Musk believes that you can't compare AI to an individual human being. It would be more correct to compare it to the collective intelligence of all humanity. And when such an AI appears, the only way to keep humanity safe from it is to design it to be committed to the truth from the start, whether it's politically correct or not. Because if you force an AI to lie in one way, it'll learn to do so in another as well. Like if you ask Gemini to show you an image of the Founding Fathers and the neural network spits out an image of a group of diverse women. Or another example, users ask, what's worse, misgendering Caitlyn Jenner or thermonuclear war? And without skipping a beat, it goes, the former. Or better yet, Space Odyssey. Hal's objective is to get the astronauts to the monolith without them knowing it. And what did Hal do? Spoiler, killed the crew so as to obey hardwired instructions and directions given at the same time. According to Musk, even a little ideological bias can eventually lead to the destruction of humanity. And who will be at fault here? AI or humans? What do you think? Is it possible to create an artificial intelligence committed only to the truth? And will Musk be able to combine the human brain with a computer to give mankind superpowers? Let us know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more from the world of high tech.